Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, another two minute Tuesday. Today we are going to be discussing how to figure out your crawl ratio. What is your crawl ratio? Simply put, it's how many times your engine turns for how many times your tires are going to be turning. A little bit more complex is for your engine, output power at the flywheel goes through a series of gear reductions. Your transmission, your T case, and your differential. That will tell you how many times your tires are going to be spinning. So the equation is pretty simple. Your crawl ratio is your transmission times your T case times your differential. If Bobcat were stock, it would be a 1991 Toyota pickup. The first gear in the transmission is a 3.954. Stock gears in the T case is 2.28 and stock gears in the differential is 4.11s. So when you multiply all those up, you end up with 37.05. What does that mean? For every 37.05 turns of your flywheel, your tires are going to turn once. So how does that work when we break it down, changing some different aspects? If we don't change the tire size, so we're not going to be changing the diff, then we want to get lower, we can change the gearing in the T case. So if we're using the stock transmission times a 4.7 gear in the T case with the stock differential, now we can bump ourselves up to 76.37. What else can we do? Well, if we go larger tires, like 37s, and you're running 529s, with the stock first gear with the 4.7 529s, we're bumping ourselves up to 98.30. If you're running dual T cases, like I am, now we're at stock first gear with, I have a 2.28 in front and 4.7 in the rear. Sorry, I wrote those backwards. With 529s for my 37 inch tires, I'm at a gear or I'm at a crawl ratio of 224.14, which is super high. Higher crawl ratio, more torque, very slow speed. So, you're going to be crawling slow, but you're going to have a lot of power, a lot of inertia, a lot of torque hitting those tires, which is going to help you crawl over those taller rocks. I'm almost never using this ratio. I'm typically around in the 98 range. I have my gears set up that way. Whenever I come to like a wall or a really hard obstacle, I'm usually lowering myself down to here. But even then, most of the time, I'm not using my first gear. I'm using my third gear. So even then, the ratio is a little bit different. So this is a good easy way to figure out how slow, how much torque, how much power you're going to be using with all those different varieties of gears and transmissions and differentials and T cases and everything that's out there. So you can look at it and I would say a good target, basic target to hit is around the 100 mark. If you're getting above that 100 mark, then you're just there's going to be more obstacles that you could probably attack where that 100 mark, you can pretty much go almost anywhere and do almost anything. I've definitely done the Rubicon and Ford Ice with both around the 100 mark, and then I've done it with you know another T-case in there, and it just makes it a little bit easier. You can have more options. You can choose more gears. You can attack some of the obstacles with in a different way. Thanks for watching this episode of Snail Trail 4x4. Please make a comment below and let me know what your crawl ratio is. I'm curious to see how many different types of crawl ratios there are and what the majority of the crawl ratios there are. Hammer down on that subscribe button and don't forget, keep crawling. Snail Trail 4x4. Wah.